So today I thought I would highlight just some things that I've done over the last six years that I think have led to my success in real estate. And I have a long way to go. A lot of that stems from kind of how I started. But the first thing is, of course, to surround yourself with people that are gonna help you grow. So, you know, I picked a brokerage and a broker that I knew would support me and Sally has for so many years now. I also think about the agents I surrounded myself with. I remember being down working at kind of communal desk by the copier just so I could listen to all these great agents come in and work deals, talk to clients, talk to other agents. That really helped me grow. And now I'm in an interesting position to be a team lead where I've got a team of agents that I help support and educate agents across the country real estate coaches, just to bring in different ideas and thoughts. So I would say, number one, the first thing you wanna do is surround yourself with the people you wanna be like. So the second strategy I would suggest for a new agent is just figuring out how to get organized. I do have one really just great tactic that I actually got from a teacher of mine in middle school. And he said, look, if you want to be successful, you want to do well in school, write everything down. So that's kind of where this stems from for me. And I hate to call it a to-do list because the to-do list or list you ignore, but this is really my, my focus book. And I, I have a moleskin because it was $25. I know I won't lose it. If I write everything on legal pads, I'll lose them. I know because I've done it. But in this book, you know, I have my goals for, for the day. I do two pages every single day. The goals, what do I want to achieve that day? What's my focus? And then just here's all the things that I have to accomplish today. My goal is to put everything in this book each day and transfer it to the next page if it doesn't get done. Because I don't want anything to fall through the cracks. And if you ask buyers and sellers, what's your biggest complaint about a real estate agent? And it's they, they don't follow through on things. They forget about things. Things fall through the cracks. So this is really to make sure I'm bulletproof against that happening, that I don't ever forget about something that needs to be done. And I have some personal things that need to be done here, my goals, my to-do list, information for the team, things I want to talk about at the next team meeting. So when I'm coming up with ideas throughout the day, I just put it down in here. Uh, when it's done, I cross it out move it to the next day. So another recommendation I have for new agents is to really find ways to network and connect with people. BNI is the Business Networking International, and I'm actually in the largest group in the country that's based right here out of Columbia. Now we're on Zoom meeting. There's 130 plus members in this group, one person per profession, and we each get time to share a little quick 30 seconds about you know, this is who I am, this is what I do, and this is what I'm looking for this week. Right now, it's 26% of my business this year has come from connections with buyers and sellers I've made through BNI. So if you guys know someone who's struggling and just may not know where to start, please point them our way, we'd be happy to help. Patrick O'Connor. Hey everybody, my name is Patrick. I'm the number one Caldwell Bank Realtor in the Carolinas and team lead for the Patrick O'Connor team. We help buyers and sellers across the Midlands at all price points. And selling homes other agents can't sell is a huge part of my business. If you know somebody like that, I'd love to help. Thank you. So aside from my networking group, I also like to connect with people on a regular basis. So before COVID-19, I'd meet for coffee or lunch with someone almost every day just to get to know them, I'll learn more about them and how I can help them. I do Zoom one-to-one -one meetings with different people all the time. So today I'm about to hop on Zoom. I'm gonna have a meeting with Tracy Craven. She's a local sales rep and team lead for Mary Kay. And we're just gonna get together, talk about business and see how we can help each other. I got to a point where I was having Zoom listing appointments and buyer consultations and just meetings all day long. I had a stand-up desk at home. I'd stand there on Zoom all day and we've had the best year ever. And I know it's because right away I was like, all right, this is what I have to do. I'm gonna do it. I'm comfortable with video. I'm gonna get on video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Zoom. So today I thought I would highlight, uh, let me start. Mm, okay. Just a couple of strategies. Uh, no, that's not good. So today, blah, 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 blah. All right.